and uh, and we have Dr. Abdul Moiz. Mr. Moiz, how are you doing? Welcome to the meeting. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you very much for both of you guys for joining up this meeting. Uh, thanks for coming on time. So we're going to give you a kick start. So let's begin with actually uh, a bit of the brief introduction. My name is Saqib. I'm one of the course consultants working at Castle training and billing services company castle is an international company providing medical coding and billing uh, training uh, as well as the billing services to the different hospitals globally uh, we have been uh, providing training in singapore malaysia south africa qatar uae saudi arabia so this was uh, and it's it's the uh, branch of one of the training group that has different divisions under it so this was the brief intro. Uh, I would like you to um, introduce yourself, something about yourself, what you do, what you don't do, where you're from, etc. Yes, Mr. Etienne, over to you. Okay, so I'm currently working at Advanced Health Day Hospital. So we are a group of day hospitals here in South Africa that do mostly day procedures, um, mostly orthopedic surgeries we are now going into more um, plastic surgeries and my job here I'm, I'm at one of our western cape branches which is in cape town south africa i do all the billing of their accounts and i work with the medical aid or insurance companies here on our side with all the coding that they give me i have to update it on my side on our system and if it's not correct then i need to updated with him oh, sorry for my phone uh, no problem it's okay so primarily your aiming your, your, your job is to actually assign the codes to the procedure and if the codes are declined then you have to refix them right. yeah and i have thank to follow you. up with the insurance companies all right i see thank you very much for your introduction and mr moise can you please introduce yourself what do you do what you don't do and uh, what are your future plans associated with the medical coding uh, actually, I'm a veterinary doctor. Uh, my uncle is in America and he wants me to uh, get certifications in this coding. Uh, actually, he wants me to get a man course and do, my, do this work for him. So that's why I need this training. What's your uncle's speciality? Uh, he's a cardiologist. Okay. Back in New York. So that's why. Um, Mr. Etienne, just before we begin our conversation, its culture is very common. Uh, a lot of uh, providers in the U.S. They, they they outsource their coding and billing services, same as Mr. Moise mentioned. Is it the same culture in in South Africa? Just from my out of curiosity, just learning, like do they outsource their coding the companies to do a coding for them? Yeah, um, they also now more leaning into that, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, like, it's actually our company, our group. We don't have set coders in our group. That's what I've noticed. So that's why um, they're actually encouraging me to do this course so that, that I can become the whole company's coder that does all the and our company for coding so that our staff doesn't get the client like I see I see okay so uh, I'm going to brief the uh, the the uh, the, the uh, what the coding does and what's the function of the coders so especially for mr. boy so he can understand because he probably is new to and uh, mr. Etienne probably he can perceive things more quickly because he's already connected to the system and he understands the coding guidelines and uh, well i just began just to help you guys develop an understanding and my purpose is to educate people about the program we offer so that they can take better and informed decisions thank you very much again for your introduction and for giving details about you because when you talk more you get to understand each other when you understand well you can better share relevant information um, to start with Basically, the function of the coding, let me just pick up the span if that starts working, sometimes it stops working. Mm. Let me just reconnect. Yeah, it started working. Okay, primarily uh, medical coding. Um, it is 
how I define it, it's the translation of the treatment into alphanumeric codes in order to get the reimbursement of the insurance companies. For instance, that this is the provider, let's say the hospital name is, let's say New York Hospital, right? A provider. And this is the insurance company. New York Hospital every day receives and provides treatment to thousands of patients, for instance. Now, each patient carries an insurance card. Now, the, the New York Hospital need a system. For example, what you might think that, what do you think that hospitals should pick up a phone call and they should start making calls to the insurance companies? Hey, we have provided to Mr. X who carries your insurance card this treatment, please pay us. And this way, it's not possible. So there should be some streamlined, systemized system and developed system which can ease the process. So what the New York Hospital does, that basically they have a department called MCD, Medical Coding Division. So it translates all the treatment. And what is the treatment? Cold, flu, procedure, surgeries. It has to undergo certain codes. And these codes represent a particular thing. So I'm going to walk you through one of the case study after this explanation. So you will have more deep and understand. So when they will assign codes and these codes are automatically submitted to the insurance company systems, they can recognize that this treatment was provided to their premium holders. So we should reimburse as the cost of this treatment as this one. So without any hassle, the hospitals, like Mr. Etienne mentioned, the other, other than that, if the codes are not properly placed, then the insurance companies have a right to reject the claim. So it's a very crucial division, a very important division. And even Mr. Moise, your uncle would agree to that if you would get information. But if the claims are not properly done, then we can, um, um, they can get rejected. So this was the basic function of the medical coding. Now I have a, I have a case study on my slides that I'll walk you, I wanna walk you through, which will clear the situation to the next level. Uh, I'm skipping the more detailed and the basic things because you guys already knew the system. Let's just say that a patient walked into the hospital and remember that in the hospital, mostly we, we need three things. Diagnosis, I mean pathologies, laboratory, tests. We require procedures or any equipment that we use to perform that procedure. These three things are important. Number one, we require uh, uh, the, 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 the treatment uh, before any surgery, the patient undergoes certain diagnosis, right? Pathologies to understand the readiness for the surgery. And then they undergo a procedure and then they use any equipment during the performing of the procedure. So we need a system to in, in cover all these coding or all these procedures and diagnosis and then the equipment used in that. So for instance, if you pick this up, that here is an example of a case that a 40 years old male with a rectal pain, rectal bleeding and some left side and lower abdominal pain. The colonoscopy procedure as, and risks not limited to bleeding, perforation, infection, side effects from medication, uh, need for surgery, etc., and were fully explained to the patient. The patient had a problem with the rectal bleeding, complaints with rectal bleeding, left side, lower abdominal pain, and he entered into the hospital. So what the hospital did is they, uh, description of the procedure, they performed the procedure. But again, with the patient being in the left lateral position, first digital examination of the rectum was done, which was unremarkable. Then the CFQ160 was passed through the rectum under the direct realization of the advance all the way to cecum. The cecum was identified by allocial valve, uh, appendiceal orifice. There was a couple of ticks uh, seen on the left side of the colon. A careful look was taken while withdrawing the scope, retroflex. View in the rectum showed moderate size internal hemorrhoid. Now, the point is that here, the, this was a complaint, and this was a description of the procedure. And there was certain diagnosis that has happened, and this was the instrument that was actually used for examination. So everything you know that costs, when you're using an instrument for surgery, uh, 
you're using a practice I mean, everything costs. So how these costs get reimbursed? Now, there are three systems in the coding guidelines. We call them ICD-10, uh, CPT. Mr. Etienne, you are aware of them, right? CPT yeah, yeah. and HCPCS. So you see that this is the three manuals of the coding system. ICD-10, CPT, HCPCS. And ICD-10 describes that it, the codes of the ICDs are used for diagnosis purposes, pathology laboratory, and the CPT codes are used for uh, procedures, and the HCPCS are the service supply codes, any equipment which is used. And you see underneath CPT codes is written for this procedure, 45378, when this goes to the insurance company system, they can recognize that this procedure was performed. And I said it in CM codes, K648, K5730 represent certain diagnosis. That what was diagnosed, what laboratory was taken place before the surgery was performed. So when these codes are submitted to the insurance companies, the insurance companies will automatically understand that this procedure was performed and this treatment took place in this way. And so they can make the payment to the insurance company, sorry, to the hospital. So that's how hospital gets the revenue. Did you get the point? Mr. Moise, are you a little bit new to this information? Is it the things that are clear for you or you are? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's totally clear, yeah. Did your uncle mention something related to that, that this is kind of a coding guidelines? Did he share with you some information or are you a completely yeah, new? He, yeah, he told me about the basics. So he just wanted me to like get the knowledge about it. Right, but he doesn't do, uh, he doesn't do a coding, right? He just do a, um, uh, procedures like, like he just he just uh, provides the consultancy right as a cardiologist yeah. he doesn't do yeah. the coding himself right yeah he doesn't do it. right and mr etienne uh, and your hospital is asking you to take care of their whole coding system right mm -hmm. yeah right so then it's going to be a very lucrative opportunity for you if you can equip yourself and if you're somewhere heading the department of the division that's that can uh Take you to the next level your career specifically yeah definitely so uh here uh I'll, I'll describe that how do we conduct the training uh how long the training takes place uh but before that i want you to look at a few more slides that will educate you more about the future prospect of the coding certification that uh why medical coding is needed because without medical coding there is no system of the cost that the hospital spends on providing the treatment, there's no system of, of uh, receiving the cash flow. Uh, how much does the medical quarters make in a year? That's the survey, a research taken from the AAPC, a mother company of a CPC certification, American Academy of Professional Coding, APC members, a lot of people are working like with experience but not having a certification experienced with certification like mr etchin is working he does not have a certification but he works as a medical quarter so you have your income graph varies from there and you see in the next graph that it's a continuously rising uh in, in over the over the last 20 30 years because when the insurances exist now the countries are coming under the umbrella of insurances the need of medical quarters is con will continue to rise because without quarters they can't get reimbursement of the doctors uh, can't do this independently because they can focus on their treatment rather than learning the coding. Uh, but again, if you're a doctor and have this coding certificate, this can take you to the next level. I mean, you're in the UAE, uh, they also follow AAPC. Um, I'm not sure that you guys have an idea or not that they also follow ICD-10 codes, coding guidelines, and the doctors with the ICD-10 certification are being paid more. Uh, than those who do not have so there's slight variation in the salary as well and again it, it's an independent career let's say you are a doctor a veterinary doctor and you don't find a job related to you can have a work in a medical coding line so a lot of professionals around the world who are undergoing training from us they, they took the course certification from and adding value to their careers or um, developing a 
a new career stream, which doesn't take much, but this is the only certificate that can help you to land a professional job without any college degree. That's one of its distinction, distinctive features as well. Okay, now here we'll start about the how training will happen and how the, what is the structure of the training. Uh, in fact, this is the two months training program. In these two months, you'll be provided the training of ICD-10, CPT, HCPCS, and this gets completed in two months time. Each week, you will have 3.5 to 4.5 hours of training and training time will be decided based on everyone's available time. Let's say that once you complete the registration, the next step is that uh, you will be connected to the training department. The training department will actually um, uh, request you to tell you our first and second preferred and available time. You'll be provided all the materials, ICD-10 manuals, CPT manuals, HCPCS manuals, and you will be provided also with the notes, the explanation and everything. Step one, at step one, you gather information like you are, you, you started asking about the course that we have shared with you, the information over your WhatsApp, you have gathered information and uh, you have now developed a deep understanding by attending a master session. The second step is to complete the registration. Completing registration means that you will receive a link on your register email and a WhatsApp number, and then you will be completing the payment and every detail that it asks from you through that link. Step three, you will be connected to the training department. And the training department is going to ask you first and second preferred time and you will receive a schedule. Step four, your training begins. And step five, you complete training and AAPC exam. So these are steps that you have to follow uh, uh, in order to become a medical coder. So now we can have a Q&A session. If you have any question, concerns, you may pose a question. If anything is unclear to you, you can ask the question. If anything that confuses you, you can ask that. So I'm here to help you. Yeah, Mr. So Aitian, I have a question. A question. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, the exam attend, uh, you told about in step five. Uh, the fees of that exam is included in this training session? Well, one second, I forgot, to, I forgot to mention the exam fee and yeah. the training fee. The training fee is 465 US dollar. That that's includes the transaction charges, 3.5% and material charges. It's all inclusive. No hidden charges. This 465 US dollar is a complete training fee. Once you complete the training, and then there is an exam fee of 350 US dollar that is payable to AAPC. But two months training program, 15, 20 days, you take more uh, to get the date. And then it's a three months time where you have to pay this $350. It's an examination cost. And in this fee, in fact, you're paying it uh, 175 per exam. You're allowed to examine that. So you're allowed two exams in that. And exams format is objective. The exams are all objective exam. Objective means MCQs questions, 150 questions, and open book exam. And it is an online exam. You could write from being at home. Uh, okay. okay. The, uh, these two exams you told about, uh, do we have to take only one? Or do we have no, to no, take no, 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 Mr. Moise, the exam is only one. Well, you get two if you fail, you can retake it without paying an extra cost. 
It's a one-time registration, but it allows you two exam attempts. Okay. But again, the key point is that um, the key point is that it's a it's a whole new career for Mr. Etienne. If if you ask me to do a personal consultancy, uh, viewing your experience and your current job description, it's going to be a very very helpful for you because it's a very crucial things. We have observed a lot of people working in the revenue cycle management uh, in in the, the UAE. They due to their inappropriate coding, they the claims are rejected, and at the end the hospitals. Yeah suffers from a revenue and it's the same replica for you mr moise that you can help your your uncle to generate the revenue right yeah. and uh, we also have uh, this service that we also offer the billing and coding services to different people around the world and uh, it's it's going to be not only give you an independent career but also this itself is a very lucrative business that in Pakistan, a lot of companies they're doing coding for, for uh, companies and hospitals in the U.S. and their turnover is in millions of dollars. Yeah. Just last question. Uh, you told that this training will be two months. Uh, what if I want to complete it in one month and uh, take the test? Well, that's not possible. We don't recommend because we maintain the graph of. Uh, uh, of our success ratio. We really want our results. Like recently, one of our students took an exam and she scored 91%, 90, 91 or 93%. I'll share with you the record. Uh, and the passing ratio is 75%. I mean, the passing exam percentage is percentile is 75%. And she scored 93% or 91. I forgot the figure, but that's is around. In yeah. one month, it's not possible to cover up everything. There's a lot of things left over. So okay. that's the minimum duration to complete the content of the course because the questions are out, out of these contents. So that's not possible. That will affect our reputation if you take exam after one month and then you don't get passed. And then that's, that's a question mark on our reputation. And we don't allow that. Yeah, okay. And it's not good for you also. Of course, you're investing your time and money. So why not to do it once for all rather than doing it over and over and earning stress and wasting money for no reason yeah okay you mr Aitlin, any question for you um so i've just got to after you've completed the training uh, this and you've done your exam uh, do you guys give out certification that you have completed it and have done it and then my second one is is that uh, that is recognized here in south africa the certification eh? Well, you will have two certificates. Well, we are a training company and we do not, uh, it is not required for us to be affiliated with any authority in South Africa. We are okay. providing a training of an international accredited recognized body, which is AAPC. And when you have this AAPC certificate, it is recognized around the globe. We That's good. provide an additional certificate of a course completion, but it's a gateway to apply for an exam. We are a preparation provider for a course awarded by AAPC and AAPC's courses recognized. Cool, thank you very much. Any other question I can help you with? No, that's all from my side. So, Mr. Moise, what, what are you up to? What is going on in your mind? Do you have any other question I can help you with? No, it's okay. I just need to discuss this with my uncle, and I will continue with the session and payments right. as soon as possible. Right. And now we have um, uh, our badges begin on and off, as and when we have completed registration number, we begin the badge. So we request attendees to wait for at least two weeks post their registration. But you guys are close to, if you're confirming your registration as early as possible, we would be in a position to begin the, because there are already a couple of registrations uh, and then uh, we're expecting, we would be in a position to start the training as early as possible. Okay. Because it's a large course and we invite attendees from around the globe, from Malaysia, from Singapore, from Saudi Arabia, from South Africa, 
So it's a it's a it's it's a group course. Yeah, okay. I will try to register in 18 hours, so I just need to register this in my So I will sure, not a problem. And your uncle, if he needs to speak to me, you can share our number. We can have a meeting, but definitely as we are well aware of what you're talking about, because we have an entire different service called billing and coding services. So we, uh, we uh, are primarily our business is to conduct the training for medical coding. But then as we have trained hundreds of quarters, hundreds of quarters. So this makes us a very suitable organization for any provider in the U.S. to offer a billing and coding services. So we can understand yeah. your need, you understand your need. This is what you need. And then uh, the good thing is about you that our teacher uh, who is teaching this course has practically worked in the coding. So she knows how to code also. So that's an added value. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Mr. Uh, Etienne, shall I share with you the registration link? You can complete that and then we'll take it from there. Yeah, 100%. Um, I'm also just going to give my information through to the company because it's actually the company that's paying for me. So, but it's not a problem. You can send it all through to me. All right. Sure. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Etienne. You're home now, huh? Yeah, finally. <laughs> is that too much traffic in South Africa, Cape Town? Too much traffic or not much? It, uh, it's more. We are currently having load shedding. So they are putting our power off for like four hours a day, three times a day. So we like sitting sometimes for four hours without electricity. So the traffic gets backed up. Wait, I live not far from my work. I live five, ten minutes from my work. It takes me an hour to get home some afternoons. Right, right. I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. Okay. Anyway, good luck. Thank you very much for coming again. And let's connect again and see you from there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.